नमस्ते मैं सर डॉक्टर रीवा गुप्ता फ्रॉम ज्योति विद्यापीठ वीमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्रियाशाही फैकल्टी ऑफ आयुर्वेद साइंस टुडे सेशन इज अबाउट मसल फिजियोलॉजी पार्ट 1 फॉर बीएमएस फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मसल डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अपॉन द प्रेजेंस और एब्सेंस ऑफ क्रॉस स्ट्रेशन और ट्रांसवर्स लाइन स्ट्राइटेड एंड नॉन स्ट्राइटेड Striated muscles are skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle. Non-striated muscles are smooth muscles. Depending upon the control, voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary muscles are controlled by will, like skeletal muscle. Involuntary muscles can can controlled by will, like smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. Depending upon the situation, skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. and characters of different muscles first structure skeletal muscle shows well developed cross striations and non syncytial means lack of anatomical or physiological connection between individual muscle fibers cardiac muscle has well developed cross striations and functionally syncytial smooth muscles has no cross striations and single unit fibers are functionally syncytial and multi unit fibers are functionally non syncytial location skeletal muscles are attached to skeleton cardiac muscles present in only heart and smooth muscles present in hollow viscera control skeletal muscles are in voluntary control and cardiac and smooth muscles are in involuntary control shape skeletal muscles cylindrical shape cardiac muscle gashed and smooth muscles spindle shape myofibrils present in skeletal muscles and cardiac muscle and absent in smooth muscle sarcomere present in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle and absent in smooth muscle troponin present in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle and absent in smooth muscles ratio of actin and myosin in skeletal muscle 6 is to 1 cardiac muscles 4 is to 1 and smooth muscles 10 is to 1 sarcotubular system skeletal muscles well developed cardiac muscles well developed and smooth muscles poorly developed fatigue possible in skeletal muscle and not possible in cardiac and smooth muscle summation possible in smooth muscles, skeletal muscle and smooth muscles and not possible in cardiac muscles tetanus possible in skeletal muscles and smooth muscles and not possible in cardiac muscles now supply skeletal muscles somatic nervous system cardiac muscles autonomic nervous system and smooth muscles autonomic nervous system first is skeletal muscles general features Skeletal muscle is made up of many long, thin cells called muscle cells or myocytes or muscle fibers. Muscle fiber is a group of myofibrils. In skeletal muscle, muscle fibers are arranged in groups called fasciculi. Each fasciculus is covered by perimysium, and each muscle fiber is covered by endomysium. Beneath the endomysium, muscle fiber is covered by sarcolemma. muscle separated from neighboring tissues by fascia beneath the fascia muscle is covered by epimysium muscle begin and ends in tendon there is a diagram showing a skeletal muscle with the muscle fasciculi myofibril epimysium sarcolemma endomysium perimysium microscopic structure of myofibril each myofibril consists of a number of two alternating bands which are also called the sections segments or discs the two bands are light band or i band dark band or a band i band is divided into two portions by means of a narrow and dark line called z like or z disc the portion between two z line is called sarcolemma sarcomere 
Sarcomere is the structural and functional unit of the skeletal muscle. It is also called the basic contractile unit of the muscle. In middle of A band, there is a light area called H zone. In the middle of H zone, there is a line called M line. So there is a diagram showing myofibril with Z line, M line, thin filament, thick filament, and sarcomere. Another diagram showing I band, A band, M line, Z this. H zone, thin filament, thick filament, and muscle fiber. Sarcomere consists of many thread like structures called myofilaments, which are of two types actin filaments and myosin filaments. First is actin filaments, these are thin filaments and, and extended from either side of the Z line across. Uh, uh, Z lines run across I bed and enter into a band up to the edge zone. Um, actin filaments are formed by actin, protomycin, and propionin proteins. Each actin molecule is called F actin and it is the polymer of a small protein known as G protein. Each F actin has an active site to which the myosin had attached. In the relaxed condition of muscle, tropomycin molecules cover all the active sites of F actin molecules. Tropomycin molecules are long, thin, long filaments located in the groove between two chains of actin. Troponin molecules is formed by three subunits, troponin I, P, and C. Troponin I attached to F actin and inhibits the interaction of myosin with actin. Troponin P attached to tropomycin and troponin C, it contains binding sites for calcium ion that initiate muscle contraction. Myosin filaments, these are thick filaments. Myosin filaments are formed by myosin molecules. These filaments are situated in A band Transfer section through A band shows that each myosin filament is surrounded by six actin filaments in a regular hexagonal manner. There are some lateral projections arising from myosin filaments with enlarged structure called myosin head at their tip. The myosin head attach themselves to actin filament and pull the actin filament during contraction of the muscle by sliding mechanism or ratchet mechanism. Each myosin head has two attachment sites, one for actin molecule and another for one ATP molecule. In the H zone, myosin head is absent. So there is a diagram showing actin filament, myosin filament, and the myosin head. And there is a G actin and F actin, which is polymer of G actin. Then F actin forms actin filament. Then there is tropomycin filament, troponin with three subunits I, P, and C. And there is myosin binding sites, blocked and exposed conditions. And there is a calcium binding sites. Next is sarcotubular system. It is a system of membranous structures in the form of vesicles and tubules in the sarcoplasm. It surrounds the myofibril. It is formed by two types of structures, T-tubules or transverse tubules and L-tubules or longitudinal tubules. T-tubules, they are formed by invasination of sarcolemma these tubules penetrate muscle fiber from one side to another side. These are responsible for rapid transmission of impulse in the form of action potential from sarcolemma to myofibril. Then, L tubules or longitudinal tubules, they are closed tubules that run in long axis of the muscle fiber 
forming sarcoplasmic reticulum at regular intervals throughout the length of myofibril. The L tubules dilate to form a pair of lateral sacs called terminal systemi. Each pair of terminal systemi is in close contact with T tubules. Function L tubules store large quantity of calcium ions, especially in systemi. When the action potential reaches the systemi, the calcium ions are released into the sarcoplasm. There is a diagram showing a uh, sarcotubular system, T tubules, and this terminal system, and sarcoplasmic reticulum. Some questions. Reference books. Thank you.